Hi guys, just thought we'd have a closer look at the Mini Pro inside today. This has pretty much wiped out any sales of the GQ4X I was hoping for, and obviously the PC2400 as well. You can pick this up with all the adapters from about £64. Uh, sorry, not all of the adapters, but a whole bunch that you would need. This one was uh, £100, or just over £100 with all of the adapters I showed you on the previous video. I've been using it the last week or so, no problems at all. So this is the one we now recommend, I think, on the forum. I've stopped selling the GQ4X because there's no point in buying it. This is uh, just as well made. Uh, plenty of adapters at the moment for it. Seems to be supported with software updates. So, yeah, that's it. Buy this one. No need to spend any more than, uh, than uh, this one costs. I've just undone the screws at the back, thought you might want a quick look inside. No big surprises really. Hopefully that's focused. You'll notice that chip there has had the surface all scratched up. They're obviously trying to hide what it is. I've absolutely no idea why they bother doing this because all you need to do normally is just pop a little bit of liquid on there and uh, look at it either with your eyes or with a microscope and normally they haven't uh, scraped enough off to hide the the markings on it. In uh, in this particular case I looked at it under the, the mantis I popped some fluid on it and it's a, uh, a microchip PIC 18F 87J50 which is just a, um, a USB controller micro so why they felt it necessary to try and hide what it is I've, uh, I've no idea. The board's very well made um, it's, there's a couple of bits that are hand soldered you can see here this is where the LEDs are and the LEDs go through the board actually let me just take it off this cover there we go the LEDs are mounted here they go right the way through that gap and into the back here but for some reason they, they've hand soldered those and they haven't cut hey you can see it there they haven't cut the leads off on one, one, one pin on each of the LEDs just bent it over I don't know why why would you do that <laughs> not sure so that's it ICSP connector is this end I paid a little bit extra for this one as I've said in the previous video if you don't need that go for the cheaper one it's exactly the same just doesn't have the ICPS ICP ICE. <laughs> I'm chewing a toffee and can't speak <laughs> ICSP port on the uh, on the cheaper one but apart from that it's exactly the same USB connector that end both boards have components on each side the chips on here and the two here are, if I switch screens on the laptop, uh, 74HC373s. Apparently they're the same as the LS373 and they're basically a non-latching, uh, non-inverting transparent latch, sorry. So, yeah, not a hell of a lot on there, but it works very well. I'm very pleased. So anyway, quick look at that. That's the um, TL866A version. That's the one with uh, the port here. The non-A version just doesn't have that. Now I wanted to go over a couple of other things uh, just quickly. I'm just going to put this cover back on loosely for a minute. Those of you who have bought the Lloyd Research HDMI adapter for either the PC2400 or the GQ4X will not be able to use it on this uh, without some a, a minor modification. The, uh, the problem is the HDMI adapter which I'll show you in a minute has extra pins that go into the ZIF socket just for stability purposes. They're not used but they just help it uh, be held in place. Basically, it's, that's it. HDMI uh, programming adapter. Let me just pop that open. 
I've just got four of these back in stock if anyone needs one. They're $39.99. That's what it is. I'll get it out show you a closer, okay, closer view. Basically some pins there go into the programmer, there's a USB socket on the top and you just need to place that into the programmer and connect an HDMI cable up to each HDMI port on the TV or whatever uh, in turn and just with the TV in standby you can just read the HDMI EEPROMs, same with the VGA one, um, you just need the correct cable to, uh, to connect it plastic protector in the socket. Now on the other, on this PC2400 and the GQ4X you can just place it in like that, lock it in place and uh, carry on programming. But on this one, as you can see from the markings, the IC needs to be at the top. Well, it will go in at the top, but of course it's four pins too low. All you need to do, in fact there's a pin missing on this one already, um, but all you need to do is chop off those top four pins on each side. So that is up, you'll see the little cutout uh, just there, so yeah, just chop off four pins each side and that will allow you to pop it in to the programmer uh, and carry on using it as normal as normal you just don't have those extra pins for the support and if you're using a fairly heavy HDMI cable when you are trying to get the program you'll probably just need to hold this uh, in, in the programmer otherwise with a heavy cable if it falls over uh, it will try and just rip this out of the ZIF socket you're not going to damage anything, it's just uh, just going to mess your programming up. Um, so, yeah, that was that. Now, I was going to show you this in use, um, but I think I'm going to have to pause the video and, uh, and do another one, because I, another video, because I haven't got the PC2400 in front of me, and I wanted to show it uh, to you with that and the new programmer. Uh, so, I'm going to do another video. This one was just a quick look at... Uh, the inside of the Mini Pro. Thoroughly recommend this, no problems at all. And uh, yeah, we'll be back in a moment.